separately jack and srishti invested the same amount of money in a stock market so they have invested same amount jack's investment kept getting reduced by 50% every month srishti's investment also reduced but in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 15,000. That means she loses 15,000 after 1, 15,000 after 2, 15,000 after 3 and keeps going on. They both withdrew their respective amounts at the end of 6th month. They observed that if they had withdrawn their respective amounts at the end of the 4th month, the ratios of the amount would have been the same as the ratio after 6th month. So they withdraw after 6th month. They realized that if they have withdrawn it after 4 months, the ratio still would have been same. The question is, what is the amount invested by Jack? So Jack and Srishti have invested the same amount. We find Srishti, we find Jack. Now, we notice that Jack invested, a, let's say he invested an amount J. Okay. Now, in that case, every month that gets reduced by half or we can multiply that by half. This is after one month. After two months, you multiply by another half. And you keep doing it for every successive month. After six months, you would have multiplied it by six times half, or we can call it j into one by two, the whole power six. If he had invested it, if he had withdrawn it after four months, that would have been j into one by two, the whole power four. This is Jack's investment after six months, after four months. Now, Srishti loses 15,000 every month. So if she loses for one month, that's 15. If she loses, if it is for two months, she loses 30. If it is for three months, she loses 45 and goes on. Similarly, if she has invested for six months, let's say she invests S minus 90,000. Six months of 15,000 gives you 90,000. 90, Similarly, if she had in withdrawn after four months, she would have lost four times 15,000. That would be S minus 60,000. And by the data, by question, we know that the ratio of their amounts would have been same for 6 months and 4 months. So simply I can say J into 1 by 2 the whole power 6 by S minus 90,000 is equal to this. So be become simple to simplify now. J, J gets cancelled. 1 by 2 the whole power 4 cancels over here. This becomes 1 by 4. 1 by 2 the whole square is 1 by 4. The 4 goes to the denominator and we multiply. So you would get... Uh, 1 by 4 is minus 36,000 or 360,000 is equal to 1 by S minus 60,000 or I can say S minus 60,000 is equal to 4 S minus 360,000 or 3 S is equal to 3 lakhs or S is equal to 1 lakh. So, Srishti has invested 1 lakh. That clearly says Jack has also invested 1 lakh. So, the answer option is 